I think we can all agree that 14 year olds are like the worst people ever. Um, they just have the ability to cross a line that like at no other age, do you have the confidence and, or, you know, you start to think about others. So when you're 14, for whatever reason, you just cross this line and I will preference this video and I will say I was not the greatest child, uh, especially in my like 13, 14, 15s. Um, I wasn't a bully. Um, but you know, I did some pretty reckless things and I think a lot of, especially boys at this age, like really do dumb shit. Um, but boy, howdy, is this one of the worst things I've read in a long time. Full link in the description below, um, for the full article if you want to read it, um, on Mitchell Miller, uh, who, uh, went 111th in this year's draft. He was the actual first pick of the Arizona Coyotes because of everything that happened with their, um, uh, with the combine and their tampering. Um, so they got fined uh, a second round pick this year and they lost their first and the third in the Hall trade, I believe. Oh, so why is it a big deal? Um, I, I want to preference this by like, usually I don't hold account for what people did when they were 13 and 14 to their adult life. Um, especially if it's little stuff. A lot of this age, you find out what sort of, you, you're finding out what person that you are. Um, and that can be difficult for some people and they make mistakes along the way and they learn from those mistakes. This, however, is a completely different thing. Like this is just so bad. He has admitted in, ju in juvenile court, by the way, I've saw some people online saying like, oh, it's all just allegations. He has admitted juvenile court bullying a, <laughs> a black student with learning difficulties. But yeah, wow. That, <laughs> fuck me, is that bar low? Is that bar low? I really didn't want to have to do this video, to be honest, but you got to report on the bad stuff as you do the good. Yeah, that's really uncomfortable. That's really uncomfortable, the stuff that are in here. Um, in the bullying of an African-American classmate with uh, developmental disability, sorry. Um, the student that was bullied um, reached out to uh, the Arizona Republic. Again, the, the link is in the description for a lot of what he said. And he was uh, saddened that the Coyotes um, drafted him, uh, drafted Miller. Um, because of everything that happened. And these are the, some of the things that were, were done over the time. Um, apologies if this is too much for you, but I feel like we need to have at least these conversations and, and know that this stuff happens, uh, especially with the climate and everything that's happened in the last year. I mean, well, let's face it, racing has been around for like 300 years, if not longer. But um, So yeah, with the current climate and everything that's gone on in the last year I think we've really starting to make set steps as a society that this is just not acceptable um so it's really disappointing that knowing what I'm about to say that the coyotes still took a chance on this kid um and again I'm all four second chances I really am I'm really like the line's pretty far to not come back from for at least a while but I feel like this guy's 18 and still probably hasn't learned from this mistakes and I'll, I'll go through why I think that but yeah um so, uh, Miller admitted in court, um, to bullying, um, this poor kid, uh, he tricked him into licking a candy push pop that Miller and other boys, uh, wiped in a bathroom urinal, uh, you know, the, the kid had to be tested for like, you know, all sorts of STDs or STIs, whatever they're called now, um, thankfully the test came back negative, that's really bad, that's really bad, not unheard of. Um, and there's a certain thing of like where there's hazing and there's pranks and then there's like just straight out of borderline assault. They're, like this is borderline that. They're not friends. And I think that's, that, that's a line you need to draw very quickly because it's not boys will be boys. If it's friends and you know, I pull pranks on my friends all the time growing up and they did the same with me. Nothing quite to this level, although probably whatever the lower down was but we were friends and we had that sort of back and forth and it was all fine. Um, and at no point was anyone really like put out by the thing that we had done, if that made sense. It was always just to, for a laugh. So the person that was pranked would laugh and that you would laugh too and everyone else around would laugh. This isn't that. They weren't friends. Um, uh, Maya uh, Crothers, I'm sorry if I said that 
uh, wrong, by the way. Um, lives in Detroit now. They moved there. Um, he reported that he taunted him for years, consistently calling him Brownie and the N-word. Uh, I think that's where you start to be like, holy shit. Like, this... Yeah. Uh, while report, well, reportedly hitting him non-stop um, while growing up, other students at the junior high confirmed the police report. Uh, Miller reported used the N-word in referring to him uh, constantly. Uh, he pretended to be his friend to do things that he didn't want to do. Uh, it, it's just a real smother of just borderline assault and just terrible actions from a human being to another human being, especially one with his background and obviously learning disabilities. How, if you're like that when you're there, uh, he's issued a, an apology letter, by the way. He, he issued an apology letter to every uh, NHL team before he would get drafted, but that was more, by the sounds of it, didn't apologize to the actual victim um, and just, you know, regretted his actions. Anyone can send a letter, dude. Like, this is just heinous. Like, this honestly is heinous. The fact that he's in the NHL, or at least, you know, part of a team or been drafted is, so bad. And I'm not saying he's beyond reproach or down the road he can't get it together, but now it's not the time at all, especially with the market that he's at. And from a team that, you know, came out and said, yeah, you know, we want to extend diversity and inclusion and and really help out this movement. And then you just, yeah. you They knew this. They knew this. It's not like this came out after the draft, after the Coyotes drafted him and went, oh. They knew this. They knew all of this, because he knew Miller knew it would come out, and a lot of teams didn't want to have a bar of it. Um, they went past it. You know, he, some, some scouting places had him in the top 50, about 49. He went to 1-1-1. For that reason, teams were like, nope, not touching that. Not going near that. The Coyotes decided, you know what, should be able to get there, but... Oh... Oh boy. And you're gonna get some letters soon. There'll be some letters from him regretting his actions and reaching out and apologizing to this person, but... I mean... How do you pick on someone with learning disabilities? How do you... how do you do that? Oh man, I'm really at a loss of words for this. Like, reading this article is just like... Oh, it's so heavy-handed, like, that you're just picking on this guy for being... Different in two ways. Oh, his skin's different, and um, he has a learning disability. So better, better pile on. Better, better. That will get some laughs. Um, his other friends seem to be quite remorseful of what they did at the end of it. But it's easy to have remorse when you're caught. What if they had remorse if they weren't caught? So now you've got a very public thing here, where you have a kid and family um, saying that. They were never apologized to for all of this. Um, the hell that this kid might have still gone through. And if by somehow any of his friends or family or he's watching this, I'm I, I, I honestly saddened to hear your story. Like this, it takes a lot to hit me. Um, a real lot. And this, this one got me, man. Like this one is so terrible. Uh, and who are you going to side with, Coyotes? What, what are you going to do? It's going to be nothing. This is the this is the worst, and this is the thing about the NHL that really does... Um, everything that the NHL does and these franchises do are such face value. They will say, yeah, oh, we're for it. You know, they'll put out a statement saying racism is bad. It's the easiest thing you can do. Burger King did that. Burger King can do that. Anyone can do that. I can release a statement saying racism is bad. We condemn racism, and here it is, hockey night. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, make sure that we're, we're gonna make sure that no one, you know, says the N word anymore. And it's just, it's nothing. It means nothing. It, it honestly, these statements mean nothing because the actions that these teams take contradict the statement. They knew this. They knew all of this. The fact that they're like they didn't do a full background check, I, I think it's bullshit. I reckon they knew it. And they went, you know what? He's the best player available. He's dropped in the draft because of this. We're going to pick him up. They're allowed to do it. Like, that, that's the thing. They're allowed to do it. They're allowed to pick this player. And this player's allowed to play, too. Um, he had a good season. Hockey-wise, he had a great, great little season. He's, he's coming up. He may even crack the NHL. But you can't release statements saying that you're all for inclusion and you're all for anti-bullying and all this stuff and then pull this bullshit a month later. Six months later. 
wh whatever it was. I mean, he'll probably win the Masterton and the Selkie, right? Because it's what we do in the NHL. Oh, his comeback story is great. Yeah, it's a great comeback story, but oh. Whether you think that you can trust this player or not, optically, it is the worst thing that the Coyotes could have done. This will turn off so many pe people to being fans, to this franchise and hockey in general. I'm not saying Miller is beyond reproach. I'm not saying Miller is done. I'm not saying they shouldn't be in the league, but he should make this right. At, at the least sense before this even happens and the fact that the Coyotes drafted him really leaves a bad taste in your mouth and you, you just go through and you're like, what sort of what sort of human being? On what level is, is winning a hockey game above this sort of stuff? Oh, this was a tough video. This was hard. Yeah, that's, that's a video. That's a video. I'm not going to tell you to like or subscribe or do any of that stuff. It just doesn't seem right in this one. Um... God, I hate that, like, his current coach is like, oh, he didn't run away from the problem. It's like, yeah, he was bigger than the other fucking kid. It's easy for him to not run away from the problem. And own it. Yes, I made him. That's all he does. All he's going to do is say, I made a mistake. And that's it. Why the hell is he doing this in the first place? Why is this a thing? Don't care if he's a good teammate. Don't care if he's a good worker. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he really is. He really is human garbage. That, that this came into the mind of like, yep, acceptable. Anyway, bye.